Mr. Beast has undoubtedly created his own genre of video, the Mr. Beast video, and right now you can try and recreate what he does, but no one has the time or even wants to. The logistics of getting a thousand people together for a video would fucking kill me, let alone cure their disability in the same video. But that's Mr. Beast, and that's why he's his own genre. If you have enough money though, Mr. Beast videos are nothing more than candy in a candy store. It, yeah, n what am I? No, I'm not gonna say candy from a liquor store. You're black. Shut up. But companies like Netflix can realistically make Mr. Beast content into a whole 10 episode series, which is exactly what they're doing. You guys remember when Mr. Beast did that real life Squid Game video a year ago? To this day, I have not watched it. And it's because if no one's dying, then you need to get the fudge out. But it was exactly what the show was. I'll throw some clips up, but for a YouTuber to be doing this, it was better than most expected. And all we needed, everyone was like, we need a real one of these. We need a real one. And we got it. We even got a porn version. Now what everyone wanted was a season two. But since there's still a writer strike, Netflix is like, who in here is not a writer? Okay, well you guys are the new writers. And this is what those guys came up with. You will now compete for our biggest cash prize in reality show history. They can give away $5 million for one show, but not pay their writers? Seems logical in every sense of the word. To show you how much these writers are actually needed comes down to even just the title. Netflix is calling this show Squid Game The Challenge. That's like naming Full House, Full House The Family, or Family Guy The Cartoon. Having this was already dumb enough, but they didn't even realize that the title is already what they're doing. The show wasn't called Old Man Is A Bitch and they were playing Squid Game. Saying Squid Game The Challenge is so fucking stupid. And don't think this is gonna be like some true authentic game show. This is a reality show so there's gonna be a lot of staged parts they're gonna try and make you have emotional connections with the characters and want you to get mad when one of them gets eliminated essentially it's like season two of squid game only you're not fantasizing over some korean actress it's gonna be like your fucking teacher or some shit and just listen to this line at the end 4.56 million dollars People do a whole lot worse for a whole lot less. You know the guy who said that is gonna be the asshole of the show like that one character. He's gonna be tripping people, backstabbing them. This is basically for everyone who didn't like Squid Game because it was in Korean. It also doesn't make sense that they're making a game show about something that was actually good. Like think about it, it makes more sense if Squid Game was an actual game show that we watched and someone was like, I can make this even better. But they did the exact opposite and made it worse even after having something to go off of. The writer's strike is hitting hard and it started with that Depp versus Herd show, which is literally one of the worst things they've ever released. She's acting. But this takes little to no writing involved. If there was an editor strike, then they'd actually be fucked. But other than them releasing the stuff that was already filmed in advance, we're slowly going to start seeing more and more of this, depending on how long the strike goes. I can't wait to see Netflix version of the R. Kelly trial or like the O.J. Simpson trial, only with no commentary from any sort of expert and just some dude in a fucking superhero mask. That's going to be fucking awesome. See you guys Monday because tomorrow is football all day, baby. Peace.